Hello fish keepers and welcome to Royal Fish Aquatics. Hello fish keepers and it's that time of the month again. Monthly species. And this month we're going to be talking about convict cichlids. They're one of the most common cichlids in the hobby and one of my favorite. I love how they look. Very easy to breed. So before we get into it I would like to tell everybody if you haven't subscribed Subscribe to the channel every month we do this. I will talk about different species for you guys for you guys to learn more about different species and um, Don't forget to hit that bell so you can be notified every single time I put a new video up So let's get started on convict cichlids. So this is my tank of black convict cichlids or another name known is zebra convicts But the most common name is black convict cichlids so, the convict cichlid, the normal name is Amatillinia nigrofastisiata, which I probably screwed that up. It's found through Central America. It's a habit wide arranged in habits, and it's commonly found in streams and rivers. But two, you can find them in live ponds and lakes with thick plants and cover, which has been said it intends to prefer moving water as often found sheltering in submerged branch and rock formation. So that's the reason why I have the nice rock formation through a log in there or driftwood two terracotta plant pots so they actually love being in this tank you see they have lots of babies in a second we're gonna get into breeding I think. the male convict sickly grows up to six inches in length while the female grows an average of four inches. When the female reach breeding maturity, the belly of the fish will take on a red hue, making sex thing quite easy in mature convict cichlids. Okay, so you see a little red in the female belly. Another thing, housing these. They said 20 gallon tank is good. This is a 20 gallon tank. Some people say you cannot breed in a 20 gallon tank. Well, I have been breeding in a 20 gallon tank successfully. Another thing, if you're planning on breeding in a large tank, like a 55 gallon tank, a pair of breeding convict will terrorize any tank that they're housed in and will viciously attack anything that comes near their nest it's not unusual to see breeding pair of convicts take on much larger fish and some have been known to attack fish nearly twice their size. These fish would even take on an Oscar. They're very fearless and very territorial. Since convict cichlids consistently dig and arrange their tank, their aquarium should be over filtered with a strong hang in the back filter. So I got a hang in the back filter. And everything and they're known to dig like you see down here they move the rock so any rock formation you have make sure it goes all the way down to the bottom so you don't want them to have rocks crashing down and break the tank or crush your convict cichlid now choosing a hang, hang in back filter that's up to you whichever one you prefer is easy now feeding these guys in the wild, they feed off small insects, worm, plant matter, and algae. In home aquarium, they will greatly eat nearly anything fed to them. Mines, I use omega food, I use cobalt food, cobalt frozen food, and shiitake frozen food. Brine shrimp, blood worm, when they're babies, I even give them cyclops. I let algae build up in here too, so the babies could eat off that works perfect it's not a problem so when it comes to frozen food any type of frozen food they could even eat live food you could hatch brine shrimp or live black worm you see the babies look right now he's eating on flake they will eat anything you put in there they'll manage they are very easy to breed now convict cichlids are among the easiest tropical aquarium fish to breed unlike many other cichlids they don't selectively pair off and any male and female in place in your current will usually breed with a matter of weeks. Okay. 
During this time, the convict cichlid breeding pair will viciously attack any other fish, like I told you. Needless to say, any breeding convict should be kept in a tank without any other fish present. So it's best to just put them alone and let them breed if that's what you're trying to do. Once the eggs are laying surface have been provided, a male and female will begin clearing the area around their breeding site. Any plants will be removed and the substrate will likely be excavated and moved around to their liking. Once their territory has been staked out, the female will deposit her eggs on a clay pot and the male will fertilize them. The parents will diligently guard the eggs, with the male chasing away anything that comes close to the nest while the female stays close to the eggs. Okay? Got that? Simple. They're good parents. They will attack anything around them. Now, fry will begin to hatch in a few days after a week. The convict sickle parent will begin to hear the tiny fry around the tank. At the point, Ephorosia and the baby brine shrimp should be fed. I do cyclops, and I do frozen brine shrimp, and I do flakes. That works for me. Now, the most interesting aspect of owning a convict cichlid is watching the level of parenting care that they give to the offspring. While other fish, like some live bears and angelfish, they will quickly snack on their offspring. Convict cichlids are extreme caring parents. They will dig path through the plants for their fry to stir up the substrate and uncover food and quickly get their fry to safety. Anytime they feel threatened, even in the tank with equal sized predator fish, is extremely rare to even lose even one convict fry. I mean, they will take care of them till the end. That's pretty much what that's what I'm telling you. Great fish to have. Sorry about that. So I'm gonna show you their other offsprings that I have. I have another batch of them. These are the young ones, the fresh one. Pretty soon they'll be moved out of here. So let's check out the other babies of the black convict six. So this is their other batch of offspring. Sorry for the glare. Let me see if I can fix that for you guys. A little bit at least. So this is some of their offsprings. And these guys are doing amazing. So a quick stat, 20 gallon is perfect. Some people recommend a 29, but 20 gallon is perfect. Care level, easy. Water condition, 6 to 8 pH. Some people say soft, neutral. I'm breeding in hard water. Temperature, 68 to 80. Mines are running at about 78 to 80. Size, 6 inches for males, 4 inches for females. So convict cichlids, that's my species of the month. Again guys, thank you for watching my channel. Welcome to Royal Fish Aquatic. If you just subscribe, if you haven't subscribed, don't forget, press that button and always tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. Thank you guys and see you guys next month on Monthly Species.